Hello, my name is Jacob Jones and I am 26 years old and currently a student at the Art Institute of Phoenix majoring in fashion design. So this is actually my second degree. Uh, my first one is in merchandising. The very first school I went to was at Northern Arizona University and at the time I was kind of jumping around from major to major and none of them really felt right. So when I found out that they were teaching merchandising, which was the closest thing that they had to the fashion industry, I went ahead and um, studied that. But after I graduated, I felt like I didn't have, or I wasn't at the place that I wanted to be. So when I found out that there was an, a school that taught fashion design in Phoenix, I went ahead and jumped for it. So I've been watching the show for a couple of years now, and uh, I think it started right around when I was 16 when I started watching the show and I, I've i been sort of tampering with sewing machines. My mom has this little brother sewing machine that we've always sort of used whenever we needed to sew up something. Um, but I I tend to I tend to take it away from her every now and then just to work on something else and then it sort of just like had this cascading effect where it just built. I, a lot of my time kind of revolved around the sewing machine. so. I just started you know, practicing and practicing when I finally got to school for fashion design. I was a little bit more ahead of the game than most of the other students and it ended up being me teaching the seniors how to sew, um, which wasn't a bad thing, it's just that I was sort of sewing more, I had more years of sewing than they did, which was, it kind of gave me a little bit of confidence in what I could do and uh, the direction that I wanted to go in. So our school recently was invited to attend the exhibition for the Phoenix Art Museum. Um, they had the collection of Jean Franco Ferre's white shirt, according to me, exhibit. So we were all invited to design pieces to um, produce a little fashion show for the first Friday of you know of the art show. My piece ended up being the finale, and I was super excited. And every time. A person came up to me after the show, they thought that I was the person that was responsible for the white shirt, like all the white shirts. And I didn't really have words to say at the time. They gave me the, the news right before the show was about to start and I literally, I thought my piece was going to be the opening piece because I didn't think it was one of those, you know, show stoppers, the big finale type of things, but when they, uh, when they started showing the show, it kind of gave me a sense of established establishment. Like I, I felt like I belonged in the whole industry. And I think that my pieces do attract a lot of attention. And they are a little avant-garde. Uh, they're not extremely subtle, but just enough to catch you know, attention and draw the eye. And a lot of my pieces do tend to do that. Um, I really like the free-flowing, you know, line that kind of makes adds movement to the whole body. And there was a, I remember um, there was a. It, it's funny because when I was at the show, there was a person who came up to me, and she was this um, little older lady, but she gave me this super nice compliment. She said that when she saw my piece come out, she said she felt like crying because it was so beautiful. And that was one of the best moments I've ever felt about a work, a piece of work that I've, you know, had a lot of fun doing. A lot of my work kind of revolves around fantasy, so I really am inspired by like movies and costume designers such as Sandy Powell and uh, Colleen Atwood. Major influences in my design. Uh, I really want to take um, some of that fantasy and put it on real clothes so that people can wear things that they feel like came from another world. Um, a lot of my pieces definitely have a three-dimensional architecture to it. Um, what I tend to gravitate to is more free-flowing lines that kind of give more depth and just a lot more interesting lines to the person and what they're wearing. For Project Runway, I feel like this is a really good opportunity for me to get my name out there and to finally start you know, getting my hands dirty and feeling a little bit more confident in approaching the industry. I feel like uh, it'll definitely give me a little more exposure to people who can direct me in the right direction and I 
I really think that it would help me get a better feel for the industry because I know that a lot of designers, the designers on the shows always work under high pressure and I feel like that's something that I need to do. I can do it, but I feel like I need more motivation and this is one of the things that I think that the show can offer me. I want to show how fast I can be, I want to show my skill level, I want to do more with what I have available to me. Uh, if anything, it's just an exciting experience to be a part of. I, I think that it will help me grow as a person, if not a professional. Um, and I think that, ah, darn. <laughs> uh, I think that uh, it's uh, definitely, uh, it's gonna light an even bigger fire under this. <laughs> um, I think that um, it's gonna, it's going to open a lot of doors and I do hope that I do meet a lot of um, industry leaders and get a lot more you know, exposure and advice and more direction, if not, nothing at all. I'm excited. <laughs> I'm excited! So I just want to take a moment now to thank you guys for this opportunity. Uh, every season, every year I've watched the show and I've always sort of missed this opportunity because there's always something in the back of my head that's always you know, that, that self-doubt that, that says that you probably aren't good enough. But this is finally the, the opportunity that I have been waiting for and I feel like I am ready and I am excited and I really hope that this is gonna be my way in and I hope you guys are excited and I hope that you guys decide to choose me. So uh, thank you again for this opportunity and please choose me. <laughs>